Onward, Purdue Northwest, without a hint of fear. The pride salutes you, the region's best. We're with you loud and clear. Onward, Purdue Northwest, the lion's pride can see. Our team's strong will, their heart and skill for a swift, bright victory. Now, everyone. <laughs> And we'll pitch it a little lower. Have ever, ever, you, you all have the lyrics, join in one more time. Onward, Purdue Northwest, without a hint of fear. The pride salutes you, the region's best. We're with you loud and clear. Onward, Purdue Northwest, the lion's pride can see. Our team's strong will, their heart and skill for a swift, bright victory. Welcome, everyone. Uh, for those that may not know me, I'm Tom Keon, the chancellor here at Purdue University Northwest. Uh, and you probably saw that uh, the fight song uh, was brilliantly done uh, by our tenor opera singer, Matt Wells. Um, Uh, what you would not know uh, is that the fight song uh, lyrics and melody were written by Matt Wells uh, and later uh, we'll be doing a rendition of the alma mater which were also uh, written uh, and the melody by Matt Wells. Uh, so, so before he had the opportunity to uh, work with me. Uh, he was a professional opera singer uh, and uh, did his undergraduate degree uh, in operatics. So uh, we're pleased to have him doing what he's doing now, but it's great to have him sing as well. Thank you all for being here. Um, this is actually a long time coming uh, from my office. I'm not going to spend a lot of time in detail on this, but uh, about seven years ago, uh, the student government president uh, came to me and said, gee, you know, we would like to have a bell on campus, uh, something that people could rally around, uh, something that could be important and eventful. Uh, something that could attract people to the campus uh, and something that upon graduation people would want to come back and, and see and be part of anything that happens uh, around or with our bell. Um, of course, seven or eight years ago, uh, we didn't really have the opportunity to uh, be able to put it all together uh, while she was here. Uh, later, much later, uh, probably two or three years ago, uh, I had seen a number of structures made out of I-beams and I thought, gee, you know, if we do a bell, uh, given that we're in Northwest Indiana, uh, it would be really great if it was made of steel. Um, and with that, uh, I talked to um, Niaz Latif, our, our Dean of Technology, uh, and uh, mentioned to him, you know, what I was thinking about. Uh, and I said, I remember that we have some really talented students that built and designed our mace uh, have they graduated yet? Uh, and he said, well, some of them are here, some of them may have gone, but we can put a team together for you. Uh, and I'll let him give you more detail about that. Uh, but most importantly, uh, the bell tower uh, was designed by students of Purdue Northwest, and I'll let Niaz tell you more about that later. Uh, I must thank uh, two companies in particular. Uh, Lennox Steel uh, is responsible for providing all the steel and fabrication. 
So uh, if you're wondering how all of a sudden we could make this happen, uh, it is a function of Lennox Steel. Uh, and the story behind that is, yes, thank you, Lennox Steel. The story behind that is that I was speaking to um, the chair of the Board of Trustees uh, when they met here last August, and we were in the new building and he leaned back and with pride said, oh, I love this building. And I said, well, you love this building because it's made of steel. I said, if you think that's great, you should see the bell tower we want to do. Uh, and I happened to have the design CAD that was made by our students on my phone. Uh, and I shared it with him and he immediately said, my company, Lennox, will donate and fabricate the steel. So, Mike Berghoff, thanks very much. Uh, of course, once the steel was delivered, we had to get it erected, and, and we had to have some finish work done and some electrical work done. Uh, and so this uh, gave us the opportunity to go see another friend of Purdue Northwest. Uh, so we talked to Bill Hassey. Uh, and Hassey Construction uh, really came to us uh, favorably uh, to erect, uh, do the finish work, uh, and the electrical work as well. So thank you to Hassey Construction as well. So with that, uh, I've said my thank yous to the most important people. Uh, however, the most, most important people uh, are our students. Uh, and for that, I'll ask uh, Dr. Latif uh, to come up and say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. What a great day for Purdue Northwest and College of Technology. The bell tower idea came from Chancellor, obviously. He asked me, discussed this with me, and those of you who know me, if I'm asked something, I said, sure, not knowing what would be the consequence. Uh, but we thought it's a good idea. And then it does demonstrate the capability, the creativity, and the motivation of our students. What a great example of the application of learned knowledge and its skills to accomplish this goal. So here's the thing. When we got these things, it was a creative endeavor. So we formed a team led by people here I'll introduce soon. And I saw them in person working day and night in front of the computer on a sketch sheet. And only request I made to them, keep that manila folder with all your ideas that you sketched so far. So design process is a practical experience how you create something and be proud of it. I commend the team, those who are here, Jesus De La Cruz, Lacey Doyle, Todd Burns, Nick Packwood, and the mentors, Rick Rickerson and Professor Afshin Zari. We are so proud of you. We know that we did a good job when you have a repeat customer. In this case, our customer is the chancellor. When he asked us to do another project, which we'll deliver, we promise. The bell tower is now a signature structure on this campus, which will identify PNW. I'm sure the tower will be the most photographed structure by students, alumni, faculty, and staff for years to come. I thank Chancellor for his support, and thank you all for joining us today.
In the heart of the Calumet region, near Lake Michigan's dune-covered shores, is our treasured and dear alma mater, whose praise we sing once more. Black and gold are colors, mighty is our roar, the pride of our Purdue Northwest, our hearts will ever adore. In the heart of the Calumet us. region, near Here Lake Michigan's dune-covered shores, is our treasured and dear alma mater, whose praise we sing once more. Black and gold are colors, mighty is our roar, the pride of our Purdue Northwest, our hearts will ever adore. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. So I think uh, all of you know that uh, one of the most important goals for us going forward uh, is to take uh, our campus uh, and make it home to our faculty, our students, and staff. Uh, the bell tower, uh, we're hoping, is going to be that glue uh, that brings our students together uh, to enjoy the campus, to enjoy events by the bell tower, and then may bring them back for future events, uh, maybe even choose to be married under the bell tower. Uh, all options are open as we go forward. Uh, but as we've had more and more full-time students uh, and as they spend more time on campus, uh, we've been trying to make uh, various parts of campus student-friendly uh, and more traditional in nature. Uh, since our students are here all day, we want them to be able to have opportunities that they might have if they had chosen to go downstate. Uh, we never uh, expect to compete directly with downstate, but there's no reason why our students shouldn't have everything available to them that they might have had elsewhere. So with this, we bring one more level of warmth, uh, one more piece to our climate of inclusivity to our campus, I thank you all for being here uh, and greatly appreciate the fact that you didn't laugh at my singing. Thank you.